All right, I'm continuing my hot streak. Lots of videos this week. Uh, I recently got this card in the mail and uh, was really, really excited to get it. This is one I've been looking for for a while. This is Glenn McGraw's first ever card. Um, it's oversized, um, but it's from the same set as a card that I had picked up a while back, which is Adam Gilchrist's first card. Um, and, you know, these are number one oversized, number two very local issues. So these are, you know, New South Wales Blues cards that were issued, I'm assuming, just at the matches. So, again, like, are these rookie cards? That's a, always a funny question to ask. People have different definitions. Um, I don't know, but it's the first card for these guys, and they're also very, very rare. So I've been looking for this one for a while. I actually was lucky enough to find two Gilchrists, and the gentleman who uh, who had this one was looking for Gilchrist. So I traded one of my Gilchrists for a McGraw. So uh, I have noticed, uh, which I really like about the uh, the cricket card culture, there's a lot of cards that people just don't want to sell, but they're very open to trading. Uh, so if you have something equally as rare um, or special, uh, people will be open to trading. So this is one of those situations. I got really lucky, had two Gillies, and was able to turn one into um, a McGraw. So now I've got the pair. So uh, with that purchase or with that trade, I figured I would make a little video just about oversized cards. There's a lot of really cool ones in Cricut. And, uh, and these are two of my favorite, obviously, but there's some really good stuff in this pile. Uh, a lot of them have a similar theme of being local issues from, uh, from kind of a state team or a local team. Uh, but, you know, starting with the McGraw and the Gilly uh, from, I should have said this, these were issued in 1993. Uh, these were issued a full year ahead of their 1994 uh, rookie cards, including the Futera uh, base cards, which are... You know, probably their most widely known uh, rookie cards, but these are a full year earlier. Uh, Gilly does have another oversized one that I got recently as well. Um, this one, I dated the set based on, you know, some, some context clues. I think this one's from 1994-95. So again, around the same time that his rookie cards... Uh, came out this one would have been issued so another one that's oversized very cool shot and um, I think it's a pretty cool set there's Justin Langer's in the set a few other uh, notable folks this one here might be the most iconic of all these oversized ones uh, some people would consider this Warren's rookie uh, I don't know I still think that the 1993 the normal sized 93s, uh, most people would consider them rookies. This was, again, a very local issue, very rare, hard to find. Um, but, uh, but, you know, is his first card. This is a 1992 uh, VCA, which is the Victoria Cricket Association, uh, sponsored by Easton. And this is Warren's first card. Uh, you know, he only ish he was only debuted in Victoria a year before this, or a year and a half before this. So, uh, very, very hard to find card. Funny enough, I got this from a seller in Austri in, uh, in England um, who had most of this set. And, uh, and I saw this one in there and I knew it was one I had been searching for for a long time. So I gave him a really good offer. He sold it to me. And then I think, uh, I think a friend of mine bought the rest of them off of him. So that one is, is pretty special. Uh, speaking of special... Uh, you know, Sachin, you know, he does have a couple 1992 cards that are very rare. There's one from India uh, called the Pro Sport, and there's one from uh, South Africa called Total. Uh, this one, again, I don't even know if people would consider it a card, uh, but it was distributed. There's actually a set of four players, and Sachin was one of the four players. Uh, so I do actually, I, I did actually procure the other three cards just to make sure that I had the full set. Um, but this is 1992, um, and uh, you know it mentions March 1992, him becoming the first overseas player to sign with Yorkshire. And uh, I was lucky enough to pick up two copies of this. Both of them are uh, are hand signed, in very nice signature at the top. Uh, and I think these were probably signed around this time, maybe early to mid 90s. Um, so, uh, so this is definitely one that, you know, in the category of one that I have no interest of selling. These are very, very 
hard to find. Um, there is actually one on eBay that the guy is asking an astronomical amount of money that I don't think he'll ever get. Um, but yeah, I don't have any interest in selling these, but this might be one of those where if there was something really rare and really special that came up and someone wanted to trade, um, I do have an extra one that I could use as, uh, as trade bait at some point. Um, I also have two of the Viv Richards sportscasters. So Viv Richards rookie cards are from 1978. These are from 1977. And, uh, you know, on the trading card database, tcdb.com, you'll see all of these listed as like 1977 to 1980. But this one is legitimately from 1977. And you can tell because at the bottom, it says 1997. So, you know, are these rookie cards? I would say no. Um, again, these are oversized. They are uh, thinner than normal cards. You know, they're, they're still cardboard. Um, they're a little thinner than normal cards. So it's not that they're not rookie cards, but I wouldn't say that this is like his only rookie card. Uh, in my opinion, Viv Richards' best rookie cards would be his 1978 first series um, Ardmona and his first series Bassett are probably his two rarest and most sought-after rookie cards. And then he's got a few others as well, like the Trump sets, um, which, are, which are also really cool, and I like those as well. And then on the home stretch... Um, these are actually postcards, but, uh, you know, on the front, they definitely present as cards. They're all numbered. Um, so, you know, over time, the numbers got higher. This one is, uh, Sachin in his 1996 World Cup kit. Um, so this one would have dated to 1996 or 1997. Um, this one predates Sangakara's actual rookie cards by probably seven or eight years. I mean, this is really, really early. Uh, I think probably 2002-ish time frame um, based on the numbering and some other research I've done. You know, Jimmy Anderson, this is super early. This is around 2003, I believe, um, which again, you know, he has some... I was able to put, pick up some local cards of his from his, uh, from his club team, uh, pr probably from around the same era, uh, early to mid 2000s um, but I think his earliest you know well recognized cards if you go on like the trading card database is probably around 2005 you know likewise Stuart Broad his rookie cards are from 2010 and this is um, you know at least at least four or five years before that I think so probably 2006 ish um, I might have that a little bit off but definitely a few years before his rookie cards, and I was able to pick up two copies of this, both signed with uh, with slightly different signatures. This one actually looked like he tried to sign it twice. <laughs> Maybe the first pen wasn't that good. Um, but again, these were postcards, but uh, but treated essentially as collectible uh, trading cards. Same thing with Joe Butler. This is, I think, one year before his uh, before his rookie card. I want to say his rookie cards from 2015. This was from about 2013-14. And then finally, uh, Kane Williamson. I think this is from around the same time that his rookie card came out in 2014 as well. So, you know, I wanted to end with those. Um, you know, a lot of people uh, wouldn't necessarily consider these trading cards because they're postcards. Um, but, you know, I love the signatures. I love the, uh, the photos. I love the fact that they are early in a lot of cases the very earliest cards that these guys have. So to me, that makes them very desirable for my collection and uh, very happy to have them. So what'd you think? Um, did you like the Warren the best? I'm guessing that's going to be the top, uh, the top choice here. But for me, you know, sometimes I like the one that's newest the best. I'm just really happy. I have my, uh, my McGraw to go with my Gilly and uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff.